I mean, oh. Keith Lee at the Breakfast Club. <laughs> Shout out to Keith Lee and Houston this week! Hey, fashion lovers! I'm Kita. And I'm Kara. It's your girls, the Styling Twins, and we are back with a new video. Let's get into this style slash haul. We are. We, of course, y'all know we had to shop the Zara sale. Yes, this video is all about what we picked up on the Zara sale. Y'all know the Black Friday sale when Zara did about 30 to 40 percent off. Yes, yeah, we shop Zara often, so whenever she's giving us a discount, because if you watch any of our past Zara hauls, we kind of started this channel on the Zara haul. Yeah, remember this? It was the yes. summer of 2021 after yeah. the pandemic, and we started this channel with the Zara haul. And, um, so Zara is a good, good girlfriend of ours. We always shop Zara, not only because of the price point, but what we feel like they do as far as quality and designer dupes. Honestly. Yeah, true. They do a lot of designer dupes. They get a lot of controversy for it. Mm -hmm. But at the price point, I'm here for it. We've been shopping Zara for so long. I think we've become uh, pretty much expert in finding the good pieces at and, Zara. Exactly. And listen, if it's not for us and it's not working for us and the quality is not there for the price, mm -hmm. it's getting returned. Yeah, and so Zara back. does have a 30 day return policy. Everything is pretty much wrapped up in that app, which I love. I don't have to keep hold of receipts. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty much standard now in the mm -hmm. retail industry. But I love how even when I shop the store, the receipt is there on my phone. Everything is lined up. The tracking, how long I have to return it. Yes. all the like, as, yes. Right. The only thing I would say is, Zara, you need to allow reviews. Because yes. that will help us a lot as far as... I know it's myths out there about the triangle, the square, and the circle. And if that matters as far as fit... I don't know if we've proven that or any, anybody has proven it yet, yeah. but they need to allow reviews. So at least we know how these things fit and if it's for quality if we want to pay that price point. But oftentimes we are at the last size or the biggest size for Zara. Yes, we will shop the biggest size of Zara. Yeah, yeah, so that's typically an extra large or two extra. Extra large. Yeah, okay. heavy on a 2X large. So let's jump right into this. Yeah, because we've been doing a lot of talking about yes, and this is And they ain't made us ambassadors yet, so. Period. Because if you're going to have a double XL, just have the representation show as well. I agree. Right. Zara. Let's, let, let, come here, Zara. Add some review options on your website. <laughs> come on. That's it. It's 2023. About to be 2024. Yeah. I, you can't even say it's 2023 no more. Allow us to leave a review. Anyway, <laughs> let's start off with the pieces that we're wearing now. Okay. Okay, so first off is this one piece dress that I'm wearing now from Zara. I love that this dress gives me like a sweatshirt vibe so I can dress it up as I'm doing today. Or I can easily throw it on with a pair of sneakers like some chucks and a denim jacket, leather jacket. Yeah. And still look really cute. And that's why I like... Uh, that's why I picked this piece because it was on sale for a great price and it allows some versatility with it. You know what I'm saying? I like the length of it because it allows me to do my little ankle boot with a slight little slither skin, which I love that look because it's a pretty plain dress. Not plain, but you know what I'm saying? It's simple, easy. I did it with my Aria Margot belt just to give me an extra fashion girly vibe and just to utilize all my accessories because it is a simple dress. And also with that. the apple shape, it's important to with the shape shape mm -hmm. dresses. Add shape, as you can see, add shape to this dress. Clearly defining the waist for me, and I love this outfit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is my first piece. We got about five a piece pieces yes. of Zara, so getting ten full outfits this week. Okay, so obviously I'm wearing the sort of counter counterpart to this mm -hmm. piece. The twin. Her the twin. twin. So I'm wearing her twin, and I'm wearing this sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is like she said, very texture, heavy on the texture. I love the quilted fabric. I love that it's a light color because I got a lot of dark sweatshirts, but I didn't really have a light color. I'm totally impressed by the quality. It's thick and it's warm, but it's not hot. That's and it doesn't true. feel like, you know, cause, heavy. Right? Because we'll be the, by the time we set up the camera and turn on the like, We'll be sweating by now, but I'm really feeling cool and warm. Mm -hmm. And it's, even though it's kind of like the fabric that you move with, like if you don't want to mess up your furniture or break glass, it's kind of mm. like that quilted fabric like oh, that. Yes. yes. That you would cover your furniture with if you don't want to scratch. Right. Wow. I didn't even think about it, but yeah. I kept on calling it quilted. So yeah, so like a quilt quilted. is what they would use. It is quilted. I yes. like the crew neck collar that is wonderful and really fits my style. 
I agree. I love. I really love that these were like crew necks. Like I said, it adds to a casualness, but also can be dressed up, which is totally our vibe. If you don't get that by now, like yes. our vibe is totally like buying clothes that we can wear multiple ways. We love a good versatile piece. It needs to be versatile. It needs to be functional. And it needs to look chic. That's one thing about us. And I yes. think that these two piece sets, kind of like the twins, are hitting the, every one of those points. Yes, absolutely. When they Alright, we're moving on to the next. Let's move on to something that is very, very popular this season. I read in a magazine, a little Fashion Guru magazine article online that the girls are pretty much ditching the jeans and they're going for the trousers. And I'm here for that because trousers are so much more comfortable than, de than denim. Yes. This is all about the new trouser. And these trousers are more of a baggier fit. Extra, extra larges, right? Yeah, that's true. So we got the larger sizes. And they're a bit big on us, but that is the look. They've been doing a box plea, gather plea. They've been doing a lot of different things with the trousers, but the trousers has consistently been baggy this season. And I'm loving it. So let's grab those trousers. All right, so I grabbed these trousers and we'll start with the ones that I got during the Black Friday Zara set. I'm really attracted to this color. I love that it's this camel sort of olive. Remember we told y'all that olive was really popular this season. And so these olive pants really fit with my wardrobe. Remember we got that olive Target jacket. So we're just in those art, in those olive Amazon glasses. So mm -hmm. we just added that olive solely into our wardrobe. So then Eventually, I could come with this whole olive, right. monochromatic really moment, right? You know, Just to collect shopping. those pieces to get that look in your head. Now, this casual trouser also is a cargo, which is also very trendy. I really like the, the, option, the, at the, bottom. the option at the bottom. Yeah, this option to draw it in. Now, to be honest, when I brought the pen, I didn't even know they did that. <laughs> really? I had no idea until I really uh, actually... Cause you know when you were shopping at, let me just say when you shopping at Zara sell, you gotta be fast. Cause that shit was sell out yes. so fast. So fast. So I dump a lot of stuff in my cart and then I just get to go in. And so I didn't really check these out, but I know I needed some pants and I love the color on them. But it wasn't until I actually looked in my cart and seen what I purchased, I was like, oh okay, these have that drawstring to make them like a a jogger mm -hmm. pants and again while yeah, still so much versatility right again i was style versatility function working pockets lots of pockets with apple shape they said that the pleated pants really camouflages that uh midsection really well mm -hmm. the color next to black is perfection i also a bone would be good like a bone or off-white would be good with this color but i've chose black this time this chunky black sweater with the motorcycle jacket i also drew it up the pant just a little bit not enough to take away from the wide leg but enough to show that it has some versatility yeah. and how I want it to sit with my shoe. Just to have that option of Jordan, I really love that about, like we said, Zara pieces. Mm -hmm. They have something a little bit more. And for the price point, we can't be mad, especially when it's on sale. Especially when they had that sale. Now, the sale is a little Game of Thrones-ish. Uh, no, not Game of Thrones. It's a little bit of Hunger Games because, I mean, they'll let you shop. That's what I think Zara so. They'll let you shop, but and they'll let you see what you'll get on a discount. But more than likely, a lot of things, maybe half the things, once it actually starts to sell, will be going sold out. Yeah. So a like, lot of your faves gonna be going. Let me tell you, if you need to like reshop because all of your stuff is sold out, it's gonna be hard because if you did have like one or two pieces that made it to the final sale right. hour. Then those are gonna be sold out if you go to shop for more things. Yes, it's a rat race. I end up having about three different cards, which means I pay I pay for shipping three different times, but I ordered it all on the same day. So yeah. it's a, it's a mess, but you gotta do what you gotta do to get those prices on the cheap. So yes, I still yes. think it's worth it. Still think it's worth it. All right, let me talk about the trousers I picked up from the Zara sale. Okay, so these are the trousers that I picked up from the Zara sale. They do feature that pleat detail that we said we loved about these trousers. They have a very loose fit. These are a little too big for me at the moment, but something a belt, you know, I could easily fix with a belt. And I love that these actually have belt loops, so that helps me out a lot. 
I love the length of the trouser, although I did take out the hem, but that's pretty typical for us at Zara. We will take out the hem and they give you in about an inch, maybe an inch and a half to play with at the bottom. So it's very much expected. Ladies, Don't another reason we love Zara. Yes, yeah. another reason we love Zara. And ladies, take it out. It's very easy to do. It'll take you about 15 minutes all together between you taking out the hem and then reapplying the um, hem and tape. Mm -hmm. to add the smaller hem it's so easy to do yeah or if you like leave the raw edge because sometimes that's the look too oh yeah good good tip they are pretty they are very thin so they can't kind of go through this season i was disappointed in that i thought they were a lot thicker based on the image i thought for some reason they were a little bit thicker more for winter time fall winter but these are really thin spring summer these trousers i love the oversized look of them and that's pretty much the, the trend that's going on these days <laughs> It's right. giving very much men's wear, feminine men's wear yeah. vibe. Yes, and then I threw on my motorcycle jacket because I always like a cool vibe. And faux leather is just bay in, the in this house. It's, it is, it is. It's bay in this house, it's bay in the fall. Everybody loves a little faux leather in the fall. So that's why I matched it with this faux leather vest because I always feel like I need a third layer as well. Alright, now next one. up, do you want to talk about the other trousers that you wore? Oh yes, we also have a trouser set because it has a vest that goes with it and I I am in love, okay? <laughs> I am in love with this two-piece set. It features these pleated trousers again. It is a black, maybe charcoal color. It's described as black on, on the site. Oh, okay. So yeah, I didn't even, this, this is what I love about having a sister <laughs> that shops, okay? When I tell you, I didn't even know I was getting this. Didn't even see this on Zara. I, I, it didn't come across my Zara. And sometimes I feel like we got different Zara apps. Yeah, Y'all let me know if y'all got a friend who just seemed to find stuff on Zara that's different from what you oh, saw. Something you never even seen. Because even our older sister was send us pictures and we're like, I never saw this on Zara. Yes. <laughs> But so, yeah, I, I get the best Zara pieces, honey. Yeah, so to my app. I don't, yes. know, I don't know about you other girls, but Zara sends me the best pieces. Mm -hmm. But yes, I did find this two piece set on the sale. Yeah, so at imagine. The price. Right, so imagine you ain't even have to shop for this, and this two piece set shows up at your door. Okay. Ding dong. I mean, the benefits, the perks, uh, all of it. So yeah, I was blessed this weekend from a Zara sale with this two piece set. It is a cute little trouser and vest set. And I actually was thinking, should I grab it? All right, so this is the two-piece vest and her. trouser. Yes, and you know what I love about a vest? Because typically, a men's inspired vest will have maybe like three buttons. The fact that they switched it up and did a smaller scale button and more of them, rather than going with three big buttons to close up a vest, I think it makes it more feminine. And I love that about this two-piece set and it is a matching set so it automatically makes it no easier. brainer yeah. functional practical yes split her up with something now i mean i, I could easily do this best with this pleated skirt have a whole look in and of itself so i love the versatility of a two-piece if the trousers here on my waist and where the vest uh meets it chef's kiss for me i, I mean it's it's what makes me love that's what made me really fall in love with the vest and the trousers all together so love this set Let's talk about how I styled it. Okay, so the way I styled this two-piece set was the I was trying to be a little different. So I went ahead, instead of putting a shirt underneath the vest, I wanted to go shirtless and also add a third layer. Sometimes I just feel like a third layer adds a bit of a chicness to an outfit. It gives me more interest, all the things that a third layer can do. This third layer this time was a double vest look. So I actually paired a vest on top of this vest. And I, Y'all tell me if y'all th th think it's chic. I think it's so chic. I think it's a cute early fall because I mean, it's no sleeves, but I like something about that not having sleeves, having arms out, but still having his vest. It almost was like, you know, like a fuck the office vibe dressing. I threw it on with some sneakers, which are new in purchases from us. These new balances with the gold tones. I put on the screen the type of new balances they are. But they are fire ladies. Like ladies yeah. and gents, you have fashion yeah, lovers. Let me grab those. It's a little bonus. Okay, so I threw it on with these new purchase, new balances. I don't need to get too close. Y'all all see what it is. I'll put the name or the because you know these sneakers be having numbers and things. So I'll put that at the bottom at the bottom of the screen. But 
I love, love these sneakers. When I seen them, I don't all, I'm not an impulsive shopper. Like sisters. Like she sees something and she gonna grab it. Like purchase at the car purchase is gonna happen. Right. And I, I post. Click got to have it needed now. Right. She could be sleeping. Okay. Sleeping. And she got purchase. Sleep. Yeah. I, I I need to sit and rest on things. So we are different in that way. I will have things in my car for a while. If it sell out on me, it's like, look, I must wasn't meant to have it. I don't play them games. <laughs> Cause I always don't get what I want, okay? Mm -hmm. I will stop that website. Mm -hmm. No, we don't play them sold out games. I don't do that. Okay, so yeah. A little different and I, I will sit on a car for a while. But when I saw these sneakers, I knew I had to have them. And it was one of those things I didn't sleep on. I purchased immediately. And I love these. Mm -hmm. You know, sneakers typically have white, but they went with an off white, which I really love. And gold, come on now. Yeah, more like a bronzy gold, but still gold. More like still a metallic. metallic. Still metallic. So, yeah, let me get y'all a little. Yeah, close up of the sneakers. Yeah, these are so super cute. cute. Those are perfect. But anyway, this is a Zara haul. This is a Zara haul. That was a little bonus on the New Balance sneakers. But I matched those sneakers with that two double piece vest. Zara said with the double vest. And I just, like I said, it's a fuck the office. I'm out the office. I dropped my button up shirt. And I'm like, where we going? What we doing? Yeah. Yes, it's definitely an after work. Fuck that job. <laughs> you know, I might be leaving early. Yes. I'm not even going to take off my coat, so I don't really need a shirt. I'm right, I'm straight. I'm going to check emails and I'm out. I mean, oh. Keith Lee at the Breakfast Club. <laughs> oh. Shout out to Keith Lee and Houston this week. Uh, okay, so moving on. Now, she got a two piece set. Now, I'm going to flip over to my two piece set that I got from the Zara sale. And this was one of the ones. Click the purchase immediately, not even think about it because I knew y'all was going to sell it out. So this is a two-piece set, but let's start with the top. Boussier style top, but it's also, as you can see, this motorcycle jacket cut. And I just thought this was so fire. You know how we love as apple-shaped women to define a waist. And anytime I can use like a boussier mm -hmm. or a belt to define a waist more, I'm here for it. I love what this does because it's, it slightly peplums out mm -hmm. at the waist, which will also give us more of an hourglass or look the look of an hourglass figure. So I love that about the top. The bottom is your typical, ain't nothing typical about huh? <laughs> This bottom is, is, is your typical midi skirt. Faux leather is great. The great thing about this is it has that motorcycle look. It zips on the side, as you can see here. The waist slightly tapers in and it has a long slit in the back. You can separate this and um, to a shorter skirt. Five, I gotta get that. Not a question about it. I love a faux leather. We love Zara faux leather. <laughs> faux leather is my love language. Mm -hmm. But I love the versatility, mm -hmm. the function and versatility of having a short skirt down. I want uh, this, the skirt fits well, but this skirt. It's really short. Once you take that bottom off, this is a mini mini. But with black tights, I feel like it's appropriate. I'm yeah, still you getting away with it. So I decided to pair this two-piece set with this Frankie Shop Dupe H&M top that we showed you guys in the last video. Mm -hmm. I love the way it kind of, you know, kind of comes out underneath the bustier top, giving it extra layers. Even if, like you said, with your office, fuck the office, zip off my, you know, mm -hmm. zip off my skirt in this. Party time. <laughs> it's party time with my little mini skirt. From the office to the brunch. So, or dinner. Mm -hmm. Or day night. Impressed with the versatility of this two-piece set that Zara presented up. And mm -hmm. on sale, yes. even better. Okay, let's talk about some more faux leather at Zara. And this freaking dress. The simplicity of this faux leather dress, I really, really love. It's just... Chic. It's simple, so it can be styled in so many ways. I guess that's the, the best part of this. It's a simple, simple, simple uh, V-neck. Well, no, it's got a low rounded a low neck, dressing. which I really like. And it has a small zip in the back. Really chic, really cute. We got this in a double XL, like we said. Most of the time, everything on this um, haul is going to be in a double XL. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when it comes to full leather. I'm not playing around. The double yeah. XLs get broad because I know it's going to be good, decent, full leather. Yes. And, and it's going to fit. And y'all going to get them. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I end up styling this with my, um, one of my favorite pieces to style up in the fall. Y'all know, a mesh uh, turtleneck or mesh top. 
I love that it has a bit of a sparkle so it kind of makes it feel a little extra special. I also paired it with these patent leather boots and this patent leather bag. I love it with this oversized bag. How the girls are carrying these oversized bags, which I got from H&M. But the boots are Amazon and this dress is the star of this outfit, of course, because it's just so chic. Let's talk about one more faux leather piece, okay? Because I mean, like we said, when we see it, we get them. And it's these okay, shorts. Jeronica Masia kind of inspired me to go searching for these faux leather shorts. These faux leather shorts are also like a trouser style. So they give you the, the clothes tab, you know, pleating this, the, um, everything that you would get in the trouser, but in the shorts. Okay, so I really, really love how I styled these shorts. I've really been wanting to do this tie look since I saw who, I forget who Runway was. It was a Runway who had, who featured men's ties, these really skinny versions. And I actually found this tie on Amazon. I was looking for a faux leather tie, but didn't find that. But I did like that this one had a sheen to it, a shine to it. And it was very popular on Amazon amongst the men's. I also paired it with this naked blazer, which is a new and purchase for us as well. Naked. We purchased this a, a while ago. Didn't really love the fit. Mm -hmm. So we were going to take it back. And we missed the window of opportunity to return. So it's ours now. So I said, okay, let me throw it in this video. And I actually really, really love what this blazer is doing for this outfit. It's, it's giving it. very much men in black. Yes! Brown yes. Giving Asian in K. Giving Asian OK. Asian. Okay. Let's get into another, the last two pieces on this Zara sale haul. And this one was like this. I've been looking for a maxi style silk dress or silk slip dress. I was coming across a lot of midi length silk skirts, but I wanted a full dress and I wanted it to be maxi. And Zara actually had it and then they put it on sale. All right, here she is, y'all. Nice and long. I am really satisfied with the length on this dress. Zara tends to give us a longer inseam, a longer line as far as length on dresses, and that's why we continue to give our money to Zara <laughs> because we're five seven, five eight, and they make the length that we need. I have to say about Zara, a lot of people don't like that Zara uses really thin models, which I also agree with. Yeah. But sometimes when you get women who have a more shapely body they will make the clothes look, look different. different. Girl, and talk about talk it. Talk about it. So a lot of stores that have more shapier or curvier models, mm -hmm. I even though I'm not really, really skinny like the Zara model, I will go more towards a skinnier model in it than a curvier model because my shape is more up and down. Right. I'm not curvy. I don't have necessarily big boobs, hips, or ass. Yeah. So a lot of those websites that use or utilize those girls that are curvy, like Boohoo and Nasty Girl, yeah, Fashion Nova, Fashion, Nova, fashion Nova. Yeah, I'm not going to be attracted to those. So I do appreciate this. Already. Because yeah, they the, the pants will look totally different on me if I ever thought that they would, I would quickly gag. So yeah, that's a good point. Zara does show a very skinny model and they need to do better because yes. they are other shapes. <laughs> They're other shape and size. So extremely curvy and straight up and down. So, yes. but back to the Zara haul. Yeah, let's go back to that silk. Okay, so that this silk, silk dress for mm -hmm. $40, it was a great price for the length that I'm getting. Yeah, It's black. It seems to be a great fabric. I haven't washed it or worn it yet but it seems to be a great, heavier fabric than expected. Mm -hmm. There's something really like the nightgown, you know? Yeah, I agree. All right, so I styled this this silky, mac, this silk maxi dress with uh, this blazer also from Zara. And I belted it because I wanted to give the hourglass shape. I love how this olive green bounces off nicely or pairs well with the black. Mm -hmm. And then also with this gold belt that is actually uh, a crossbody bag chain that we got from Amazon, but it fits as a belt as well. So mm -hmm. plus functional versatility again. Yes. Love yes. this outfit and love this suit dress. I tried it on with sneakers and the sneakers look it looked cute with your yes. ends and a jean jacket. Yeah. So I'm happy to style it that way too. Very casually as well. This last piece from Zara is this apron style strap in the back 
two straps. Two straps in the back, hard to top, top thing. It's, to me, it's, it feels more like an accessory. Mm -hmm. Because now, we all watch Drake with an apron through his whole concert too. And I just thought that was fly. Yeah. The patent leather red aprons. The apron is something that I didn't know I needed. And this <laughs> is doing it for me. So I'm getting my little Drakeiana on. Drakeiana? Because I got this little distressed denim brown apron. Goes so well with the boots that we talked about in the yeah, last video. Biker boots. Biker boots. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like the shark boot. Something just coming to your life and you didn't know you needed it. I needed an apron, and so when Zara showed me this apron, I had to have it. Right. I love this shape that it gives me. Mm -hmm. The shape that it's giving me it gives me a waist. It, it hugs me in the right places. It comes out like a peplum in the right place. It's an mm -hmm. apron. Now, I styled it with a black turtleneck. I just do it wearing black underneath and letting the apron, apron mm -hmm. was the best way to do this. So I paired it with these jeans, these baggier jeans, put that apron with those biker boots. Mm -hmm. And I love the style that's given. It's really different from what I would usually style. This jean tucked in, this boot. But I love the shape that it's giving me. So yeah, I'm here so for the good. apron. I now want a floor length black patent leather apron. <laughs> But I need that. But anyway, let's wrap this up. All right, so that concludes this new end Zara try on haul. Girl, we went to the Zara sale. We got what we got. We hope you like the video. We yeah. hope that you like and enjoy what we purchased and how we styled it. Because you know, that's what we're really here for. It's inspiring. Inspiration. It's for the inspiration. It's for the inspiration. Keep in mind that Zara will probably go do another sale just like that one on Christmas Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Our channel has been doing its thing. We're so happy about that. Yeah. Getting our numbers in. We still want to grow, of course. <laughs> we are baby YouTubers. We are very micro content creators, but we would love to reach a broad audience. So make sure you comment, subscribe, and make sure you share the video. All right, y'all. Deuces.